With U.S. forces scheduled to draw down in 2014, Afghans are preparing to assume more responsibilities for their own freedoms. Air Force Staff Sergeant Yoshi Shinzato tells us what accomplishments Afghans have made to reach that goal. It's a day to celebrate as hundreds of Afghan National Army members march down the street with their heads held high. Uh, we are here to observe the first class of the RBWT here in Gardez that went through an eight-week training. Uh, and now this is their day where they graduate and they go to their units. Eight weeks of training has made a difference in appearance, in value, and in discipline. I feel very proud of them because uh, all our guys have put a lot of work into teaching and coaching and mentoring uh, the, the instructors for these students so they could defend their country and uh, fight for their own freedom. What was once a group of individuals is now March. a cohesive unit. March. That's what it's all about, empowering Afghans to take the lead. I'm really proud to graduate and I will be very happy to serve the Afghan people. Although this is the first class to graduate from Bob Thunder, it won't be the last. Hundreds of Afghans have already volunteered to put on the uniform. Reporting from Bob Thunder, Afghanistan, I'm Staff Sergeant Yoshi Shinzato. U.S. forces in Iraq continue their mission of advising and assisting Iraqi security forces, and that means passing on information at all levels. Staff Sergeant Kelly Longbine reports from Iraq about a recent conference held there in order to strengthen the non-commissioned ranks. Sergeants Majors from the U.S. and Iraq came together for a conference to discuss strengthening the Iraqi security forces. It was an opportunity to empower the non-commissioned officer corps and lay a foundation for what's to be expected as they move forward. Focus on four divisions, three, five, seven, and ten, on strengthening them and prepare them for internal and external defense of Iraq. The sergeant's majors observed the Iraqi army performing military operations in urban terrain and watched the after actions review led by the soldiers. Anytime you get a group of leaders together and they can really take a hard look at some more of these complex issues and do it in a collaborative effort, there's always benefit to that. The Iraqi Ground Forces Command Sergeant Major said the conference is a great way to listen to each other and get feedback for changes that should be made. It was very successful. What I recommend, and I will suggest not to conduct it once a year, I prefer if we conduct it at least once a month, that will help promote, enable uh, more progress among all the NCOs. Since 2003, the Iraqi forces has moved forward. They're now an army capable of sustaining themselves. Well, I think what you do when you have limited time, you, you have to narrow your focus. Because we understand at the, at the end of the day, when we leave here, the Iraqis have to be able to move, shoot, and communicate, and do that effectively without any assistance from the U.S. Reporting from Victory Base Complex Iraq, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Kelly Longbine. And that's a look at what's happening downrange. Remember, you can always download or watch these stories anytime on demand at pentagonchannel.mil.